Oh no, has he got it? Has he got it? I think he might have done it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are starting a brand new series on the channel guys. We are here as New Zealand will take on Bangladesh in a three match one day international series guys. In Cricket Captain 2020, here we are guys. We're going to be playing through as New Zealand trying to win against Bangladesh. We are going to see if our results line up with the real life results guys i'm actually recording this before the series starts i don't often do this but this is a rare occasion guys i'm really excited to do it i have decided in my lineup that i think devin Conway will be making his one day international debut and will be batting at number three alongside daryl mitchell making his debut behind tom latham at number six again these are estimates because the series has actually not begun yet for the Bangladeshis, their squad was a little bit uh, interesting because I don't know if their players were quite on their database or not. But either way, I picked the players that were in the squad. So the squad looks a little bit maybe out of date, maybe not too accurate of what it will end up being. But I think I've actually done a pretty good job at guessing with the players that I had available. So, Tamim Iqbal and Tom Latham will be at the toss. Tom Latham is at the toss because Kane Williamson has been ruled out with his elbow injury. So Tom Latham, as tradition on this channel, is going to call heads. And as tradition on this channel, is going to bowl first after losing the toss on an absolute belter. Anyway, here we go. New Zealand taking on Bangladesh as the series begins with a single off the first over of the series. And Tamim Iqbal smashes that for four. Bolt. That's an e not really an edge. It's actually well played. That's four runs to Tamim Iqbal. That swung in nicely from Bolt. And the umpire's given him. He's going to strike early with his in-swing. Oh, I tell you what. That was a probably umpire's call on that impact there if there was such a thing in this game. Ten for one for Bangladesh. Oh, that's a shot from Dust down the ground for four. Sakar drives this away for four. Nicely. Bangladesh 22 for one. Is there an edge on it? It doesn't matter because it's a no ball from Trent Bolt. And tell you what, that is not four bides. That should be five wides. But anyway, okay, play to miss. Never mind. It's all fine and dandy. See, this should be five wides. Anyway, the umpire's given us an extra run there. Probably uh, home biased. Home umpire biased at this point. But, you know, we're just going to take it. And that is a French cut if I've ever seen one. And that is a different type of cut. A cut that has got Sakar cleaned up. What is he doing there? Oh dear. Makes him look a little bit silly there. Not going to lie. Bolt is going to bowl his, into his fifth. And it's just one run off it. Which is a dream start for New Zealand really. Oh that's a good shot from Hussain. That's going to be four. Ten overs gone as Carl Jameson. And I'll tell you what. It's going to start out after... New Zealand's pace battery, especially with even with Ferguson out, is very top class. I tell you what, and that is nearly bowled him. I don't know how. Southie's just going to keep bowling because screw it. It's cut away. It's going to be four, though. Jameson. It's in the air. Oh, just over the fielder. And we're going to bring on Mitch Satner for the first signs of spin here. Tell you what, let's get a slip and play. Let's get that slip. You never know. That's going to be four, though. 70 for two for Bangladesh. Oh, that's big. Not really big, but it's well-timed. <laughs> I don't know. Four. Okay, Jameson to Dust. Cleans him up. Jameson strikes, and Dust has to go for 29. Now 45. A big wicket for New Zealand. And I'll tell you what, we are going to keep the slip in. It's probably going to concede a few extra runs, but uh, hey, it's the way it's going to go. And... Yeah, nah, that is <laughs> that is well and truly gone. Jameson to Rahim. Musfika. Good wicketkeeper batter. Let's get number nine, please. Ja Maybe not Jameson, actually. Can we get someone else other than Jameson in the slips, please? Jameson, come here, mate. Never quite a good idea. Where's Gup the at? There he is. Put Guppy in. Number 
All right, guys, we're making a rear field change. We're going to get a slip in place. Oh, oh, the genius. No, the genius. He's made me look foolish. He's actually made me look genius, but in the end, it is foolish because it is indeed not out. A fielder drops. It would have been a genius change. Come on, guys. You have to, you have to admit. The captaincy change right there. Get that slip in play. Straight to him. And, oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Is that Daryl Mitchell on that side? It was either Daryl Mitchell or it was Martin Guptill. Either way, I'm disappointed. It was genius move, guys. It would have been absolutely brilliant. Would have been brilliant. But no, not to be. Not to be whatsoever. And that's going to be the repeat dose from Musfika Rahim. 100 up. Oh, he's edged off, though. Sorry if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, guys. I'm not the best with pronunciations, might I also add. But that is gone. Musfika Rahim is gone for 21 of 21. That's a big wicket. Mamadula. Mamadula to the crease. Come on, I want that slip catch. I put that slip in. you got to give me one. Oh, that's four. Oh, yeah, it's ruined now. It's gone. The opportunity to get that one slip catch has disappeared. Also, Mama Duel has done some amazing things against New Zealand. I'm not going to lie. So, I don't want to put Carl Jameson in again. Ross Taylor, where are you at? Come in. In the cordon, please. Jameson. Off you go, mate. Let's get Taylor in there. That's four, though. I want that slip in. Satna to Hussain. Oh, four runs to Hussain. He cuts that away nicely. 126 for four. Oh, four. Well swept again. Jimmy Nisham to Mamadoula. Oh, he wobbled. Satna's bowling okay. Not the best, though. We're going to give Daryl Mitchell a go on debut. And I was going to give him a slip, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've given out now. And that is a single. And that brings up Hussain's 50, I think. I don't even know if I picked the right guy, because his average was so low. But it's his first one-day international 50. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? It's a shot too. He's playing the best game of his life. Would you believe it? Oh, he's gone though. He has to go. He's just misjudged one completely. And Daryl Mitchell, what a moment for him. Takes his first one-day international wicket. Look at that. Going to appeal, but I think that's going to be given out. I think. As Jimmy Nisham to Mamadoula. And that is four runs. 150 up for Bangladesh. He's such a classy player, Mamadoula, when he gets going. And that's four more. Still remember that tiny smashed against New Zealand in the World Cup. Was there live? Definitely made us work hard for that victory that day, but he's got to go. I've talked him up, and he's gone. Bold for Daryl Mitchell. 25 of 32. Mitchell's got two for five. Would you believe it on Taboo? As Trent Bolt is not going to come back. It's going to be Jameson to come back because we just want to save a little bit of gas left in the tank. Just in case things go wayward. And I probably shouldn't have thinking about it now. Because that's not how McCallum would have thought. But anyway. And Jameson strikes anyway. He gets the job done. Hussain. Sorry. Mahidi Hassan has to depart. Jameson. Oh my god. He can't take Mitchell off. He's got four overs. Like two for eight. Oh, what a catch from Latham. And he's got three for eight. Would you believe it? Oh, look at this again. You've got to appreciate the work sometimes that New Zealanders put in. Oh, brilliant. No slip. Maybe that was the way to go. Because he's taken an absolute blind in Latham. Anyway, he's got three for eight in four overs. Can he get like a five for... Oh, he's played and missed it. Jameson. Outside leg. Is he going to deny Mitchell his five for... Not with that delivery. And not with that one either. He's missed it. Three for nine in five overs. Mitchell is... Bowling up a spell. And he's supposed to be a batting all-rounder. And he's got another one. Would you believe it? He's going for it. He's got it on a string. He's actually edged it through the stumps as well to add to add to the drama. Oh, he doesn't take a wicket though. Jimmy Nisham. Can he not take one? 
Yep, that's the way to do it. He's not going to take it. Can Mitchell get his five for? Oh, you're kidding me. I've, I've, I've given him the best shot, and he still can't do it. Oh, it's 4-2. Okay, well, we're going to give up. Oh, he's gone. Nisham takes the wicket. He edges off, and Bangladesh 186 all out. Daryl Mitchell, mate, you've come in as a batting all round. You've got full 15. What's going on? That's not a bad start. Look at that. He's taken 49 wickets in his one-day domestic career, and four of them in the one-day international format. What's the problem, guys? I'm only averaging 3.75 in my career, he says. Anyway, New Zealand, well, we're going to be very, very happy with that total. Chasing 3.7 per over to begin things off. Yeah, we're going to start there. And Guptal's gone. Guptal goes, Conway on the boot. That's a good shot from Nichols. That's nice. Conway, that's outside the line. Tell you what, that's nervy. Oh, he edges it through the slips for four, Conway. Nichols gets a free hit and dispatches it for four. And again, what a shot. He's coming off some good uh, forward trophy form, that's for sure, in real life. Can he convert into the game? We'll find out. Conway. Oh, scratchy. Oh, that's a shot, though. That's class. Oh, I keep bowling there, please. Tuscan. Ahmed. Full toss to be taken toll of. Conway hits this for four. 56 for one, New Zealand. Conway on 25. Nichols. Edges but taken. And Sakar takes the catch. Saifuddin gets the wicket. Henry Nichols gone for 26 off 36. And that is a big wicket for Bangladesh to get Ross Taylor to the crease. And he's gone for a golden duck. Would you believe it? He brought in an extra slip. And a they've brought in an extra slip. A short leg. Got two slips and a and a short leg, short cover. Ross Taylor's gone back to defend. He's edged it. Taking an easy catch. Sakai with his second catch. Tom Latham, the captain, walking into the hat-trick ball, which it is not because it has gone for some runs. But Saifuddin, what a start. Conway got to watch the carnage at the other end. It was temporarily lived, though. Two left-handers together now. Conway. That's good. Four. He brings up 50. He brings up his, his maiden one-day international 50 in his first match. Conway style, that's for sure, guys. I tell you what, for the longest time on our channel, he didn't look like he was going to be anything but, uh, you know, everything but class because he just couldn't score a run for us early in our road to cricket glory career mode, guys. But I tell you what, ever since then... He has never let us down because he's just hit one score of 80 and now he's got a 50 on the boo here. He's just definitely doing what he does best, that's for sure. We need 75 runs. To be honest, I don't feel like going aggressive. We can just coast home here. Bangladesh haven't seen us anything too challenging. I'll tell you what, that is a shot, ladies and gentlemen. That is some, some shot from Conway. Oh, he tried to do it again, too. Has he run himself out? No. I thought he had run uh, Tom Latham out there, or himself. Not to be. Conway, that is a very wide delivery, but he has just played a missed. 126 for three. That's well swept by Conway in the air, but in the gap, and that's four. 130 for three. Oh, he edges this fine in the gap. Probably two there. And he comes back. Will he make it? Yes, he will. Makes 67 now. 55 to win. Latham hits that for four. Can Conway get 100 here? <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to up his aggression and see if he can do it. And that's a great shot for Latham. One slip and play. But he's gone. He's hit straight back to Mahidi Hassan. And he's gone. Daryl Mitchell on debut. The two debutants. Making their way, well not making, oh, Conway's already there, but at the crease together. 152 for four here. Oh, Conway, shot, that's six, he's on 85, he needs 15. But Daryl Mitchell goes for just three on the boot. 
He'll be disappointed with that. 28 runs to win. Conway on 85, but he's on the non-striker's end. But it's a maiden. He plays out a maiden. And that's four to Jimmy Neesham. And four more to Jimmy Neesham. He's 20. 20 to win. He's got 15 for 100. He's got a single. But he's gone. Jimmy Neesham. Mitchell Satner. It's all drama here. Oh, jeez. He's itched it for four. Now he needs to really get his gears on here. Conway. He pulls this for four. He moves into the 90s. He edges it, but it's no run. And he doesn't keep the strike. Goes back to Mitchell Satner. But Mitchell Satner hits it for six. Conway needs three runs. All right. He's going to have to bash it here. He's got two. Oh, no. Has he got it? Has he got it? I think he might have done it. Has he brought up 100? He has. Conway, would you believe it? He needs one run to win. One run to get it. He dinks it and he's off. The game won't show up, but his arms will be aloft and he's got a one-day international 100 on the boot. Well played, Devin Conway. 100 not out of 127 deliveries. I tried to get everyone else to help him out. In the end, they just keep kept getting out. Mitchell Satin actually hit a, hit a four there. Really made it close. But in the end, New Zealand coast home by four wickets thanks to Devin Conway who gets 100 not out and is not even the player of the match because Daryl Mitchell, 4 15. Exceptional bowling from a batting all-rounder. And New Zealand take a 1-0 lead in the series, guys. That is going to be it for today's episode, guys. So if you did enjoy, then please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below, especially on Twitter where we tweet out a lot, guys. Don't forget to also join our Discord server to receive exclusive updates for when all of our videos go live, guys. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next episode, guys, for the second One Day International of three, guys. Good. Bye for now.